Well, you guys, today I'm going to show you how to remove unwanted software from Windows 11. This is a super quick video, as I'm pretty short on time today. But as you can see, we've got plenty of bloatware already pre-installed inside Windows 11. And I'm going to show you a quick program that will remove all of this without having to go through PowerShell and remove it from that location there. So you can see there's tons of stuff inside here that comes already pre-installed in Windows, which you're probably never, ever going to use. So... So to quickly remove all of this, you can use a free application that doesn't even install on the system. It's called O&O at Buster. It's a free program you can download from their website. And we all know that Windows 10 and Windows 11 comes pre-installed with loads of bloat that you don't need. These are all applications that are already installed on the system. And you will have to go through and uninstall these manually one by one. And some of them are hidden and you can't uninstall them but this program will search the system and it will allow you to remove these from the computer which means you can take back control of windows 10 and windows 11 by using this application it'll uninstall pre-installed uh, applications that were installed by microsoft also uh, it's going to allow you to undo changes at any time by creating a system restore point it's a portable version and it's free of charge. So let's go ahead and download it. The good thing is it's completely portable. We don't need to install. So I'm just going to start the program up. It's going to do a scan on your system and it will find all of the apps installed. You can see up the top, we do have the file for exit actions. This is where you can select Windows apps, desktop apps or hidden apps. And we can also create a restore point, which is recommended. And you can do that by clicking on this right here. You need to turn on Windows restore system restore to make that work again we do have desktop windows tabs here and we also have the view tab in the view tab we have show system apps show installable windows apps hide apps from microsoft and you've got some color modes here and some languages free languages to choose from here and there is a help guide on there as well so let's go ahead and get some of these check marked and we're going to uninstall them now, what you choose to uninstall is totally up to you. You can go ahead and check mark the ones you want to uninstall. So if you want game bar, don't check mark it. I'm just going to go ahead and check mark a bunch of this and show you exactly how it works. Now, mail and calendar, I don't use that on here. So let's go ahead and check mark that. There's a bunch of other stuff on here as well, like Microsoft Office uh, 365, other apps like uh, Clipchamp and also Microsoft Edge. I'm not sure if this is going to remove Microsoft Edge. I'll try it. But again, Microsoft Sticky Notes. Uh, we also have Microsoft Tips and Microsoft To Do. And there's a bunch of other stuff like Quick Assist and Phone Link and things like that. MSN Weather, all the other junk that you don't need. News. I'm just going to remove all of this from the system. Now, again, you can remove other apps on here like Paint and stuff like that. If you don't use them, you can remove them. If you want to keep all of these extensions, you can do. I'm going to keep these on the system. Solitaire and casual games. And we can remove a bunch of other stuff on here, like Windows Calendar, Camera, and uh, Maps. If you're using Notepad++, you can remove uh, Windows Notepad. You can remove Windows uh, Media Player if you use another particular type of player. If you don't have Xbox or you're not connecting to Xbox or using any of that stuff, you can uninstall all of the Xbox apps. I've check marked all of the stuff that I don't need here. Just going to remove Spotify here. And that's pretty much it. I've got them all uh, check marked. And what I'm going to do is all I have to do now is click on this red button saying remove. And it'll say for current user or the computer. I'm going to check mark the computer and say yes. And it's going to uninstall all of these for us. Now, if you did set a restore point, you can go back and all these programs will be back on the system. So let me quickly uninstall these. It's going to quickly scan the system and remove them. As you can see, going through here, doesn't take too long at all. And once this is done, you can restart your system and you should have a pretty clean system without all of the Windows bloat apps that comes pre-installed on your computer by Microsoft. That's now done. And we can now click close and we can now close the app and that's it. So anyway, just a quick video for today because I'm pretty short with time and I've got quite a bit to do today. But I just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. Whether you're tier one, tier two or tier three, I really do appreciate the support. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Catch you in the next one. Bye for now.